for iClone, which is another fantastic bit of software from Realusion, is basically the 3D version of Cartoon Animator. There are thousands of pre-made motion files that you can now use inside Cartoon Animator, and this video is going to show you how you use them. So the first thing you want to do is load your character, and then click on Animation, find the 3D file you want to use, I'm going to use this 3 jumps motion which you can get on the marketplace. Drag and drop it onto your character and then import 3D motion will appear. So let's just move that box out of the way a bit. And then if you click on play, you'll see your character moving. It's picked up a 3D motion and it does a really good job, I think. Now this character is running in the wrong direction. He's running forward. I want them to run to the side. So on the camera projection, let's just slide that down a bit to around about minus 70. Give or take a few and then play that through and you'll see that, that the body, the arms and legs have now skewed themselves into the right direction. So you can fine tune this a little bit more. It doesn't take that much work to do. So you click on body, just slide the neck around a little bit so that looks more right. And then the torso do the same to that. So you can fine tune them a little bit to make it so they fit with your character just a little bit better and with minimum effort really. Okay, so there are a few other options. You can tweak the hands if you want. I don't actually have any hands on this character. Um, and you can scroll up and down and you'll see there's a few other different options. And then on projection, there's also the same. There's a few other options. Another really good feature is this root motion option. If you click on it, your character will basically run on the spot. It will perform its motion on the spot, which is great. It might be useful for a lot of people. But for this one, I want the character to actually run off the screen. So let's click that off. Go back to the beginning and I'm happy with the motion so we'll, we'll click apply to timeline and it'll basically add your motion to your timeline. So I'm happy with that so I'm just going to close that down and then I'm going to go to settings and I'm going to make the composition about the same duration as the actual motion itself which is about 254 frames give or take. Go back to the beginning I'm going to move the character to the side a bit just so you can see more of the running and jumping. So let's just play that through. And there you go, it's looking good. You can see that he's running and jumping. I'm probably just going to move it off just a bit more. There you go. So the next thing I want to do is I actually want to take the face motion off that's already on the character. So open up your face clip, click on your motion, and then basically delete it. And make sure you're deleting that from the face clip. So that's that done. So now we want to click on here and go to the face key editor. And with the little gizmo, let's just pull that a bit so it's looking more in the right direction. Like that. And I want to make the irises move as well. So click on just those and pull those over a bit. Like that. And that one eye, I just need to tweak some more. So let's just solo that one and move it like that. There you go. So I'm happy with that. So close that down. It's going to look at it again and as you can see the character is now running in the right direction and is also looking in the right direction and that's on 3D to 2D motion that's actually really clever I think. So let's just shrink this character down just a bit more just so you can see some more of the motion and play it through one more time. So it's running and he's jumping and there you go that's looking pretty good. So the next thing to do is you've got your character working how you want it to work. So let's just comp together a scene. So bring in a background and I'm going to just fast forward this because you don't really want to see me doing this. So I'm bringing in a few other props, some trees to give it a bit of a foreground. He's in the midpoint and I've got some pebbles because he's obviously going to be, well not obviously, but he's going to be jumping over some objects. So there's a bit of action there. So putting in some pebbles and just trying to reposition those. So basically when he's jumping, he's actually jumping over the pebbles. So shrink them down, duplicate them, get them in, right, in the right position basically and time it with my motion. So there you go. Now also you just change the face a little bit. So I'm going to get it so he sees the pebbles and he looks down. And then I'm going to swap out some sprites in the eyes. So he's, his eyes are closing a little bit, squinting as he's looking at them and then jumping over them. 
and swapping out some mouth sprites as well so there's like a bit more expression going on it just gives your character a bit more life so just play it through and you'll see he's jumping over them blinking and then just a bit of a head turn at the end so i'm happy with that it's a very simple bit of motion so once you're happy with that click on render video i normally render out of 4k but i'm going to do it at 1080 for this example just because it's quicker to render click on export give it a name i'm going to call this jump and then it renders out, as simple as that. Another great feature about Cartoon Animator is that you can really simply swap out your characters. So click on your character, click on Import Model, find the character you want to swap out, it will load in and there you go it's literally swapped the character out to a different character and if i play through it will also have all the previous motion expressions head turns everything and it's literally as simple as that but one thing that happens sometimes is some of the layers seem to go in a funny order and for me it's normally the hands the hands sometimes go in front of the actual arms so go inside your character and in the layer editor you might just have to wiggle these around a bit just reorder the layers but that's easy to do so for me, I'm just going to make sure the hands are underneath the arms, just so they don't look so they don't look odd. So reposition the layers like that, and then come out of your character, back into stage mode. Just give it a playthrough, and you'll see that the hands are now fixed. So it's very simple and easy to fix that. So the last thing to do now is to collect your clip. You've made your motion from 3D to 2D and I think it's always good to save that motion out. So click on your character, click on collect clip, highlight the whole of the motion like that, then right click on it, click on export, give it a file name and then save it. Then what I normally do is then delete the motion like that, go to the motion that I've just saved out drag and drop it onto my character let it play through and as you can see it's brought in all the motion so that's 3d to 2d motion and as you can see it's very simple to do